this meeting pending a, we, a referendum petition uh, until today, and so we've got it on the agenda. Mr. Chairman, well, can I ask that we do a closed session for legal before we discuss the final? Sure. Um, just for the public's uh, information, uh, we have not had the certification from the clerk's office when the agenda was to be set. But since it had been noticed today, I felt like we needed it on the agenda, so we set it on the agenda for today. And even if we continue that, if we're not comfortable with the certification to another date, we have addressed it today. It may be certified since we set the agenda two days ago because of the holiday. So that may be the reason for the closed session. I'm not sure. So sounds like we're going to go into closed session on this item, and uh, we'll come, come back uh, after that, Mrs. Franklin. Uh Sorry, Mr. Council Chair. Member. No, that's fine. I, I, is there any way that I could take two or three minutes to talk about the potential MOU for the potential annexation policy plan at Heber City before you would perhaps go into closed session? Is that at all possible? I, I was going to bring that up later under council report. <coughs> Why don't we just do that now? We'll do it under council board reports and, and a report from our city, from one of our city well, councilmen. Is right, that okay? And he's, he's not here. Well, so I know, I just, but. Is but this is something not that we discussed can... and we're ready to make an official? Will you, since Rick's not is that here, possible? You, yeah, absolutely. Please come Thank up you. And, Thank so you we so can much. hear you good for the record. So if Rick doesn't yeah. get in touch. Brady Council, please, Heber City Council. Um, in discussions, it looks like um, most of the MOU concerns have been already passed by our City Council, but there are still more to go, and we'll be considering them next week on August 2nd. So all of the ordinances that we wanted to put into the MOU will be taken care of. And 90, 95% of those ordinances are directly from your county ordinances. Including affordable housing? We are discussing that next week. And, uh, so that's one, the main one probably that isn't quite hammered out yet. Yeah, well, no, there's quite a bit of debate between the planning commission and so forth on how far to mandate this and so forth. And what did you guys do? Did you table it? For affordable housing? Affordable housing. housing, no, we just discussed it. We're dis we discussed it at the work meeting. I'm oh, sorry. The Planning Commission gave us a recommendation on the previous mandatory ordinance, but it only came to our work meeting, and I'm not sure if it's coming to the work meeting again or the regular meeting, but that's next week. And also, you, you had on the agenda last week the annexation plan. That was table pending other and changes. It was no different than the former one. We we made we made some differences to it, and we asked staff to revise so a few it's major things. Uh, well, you're right. Uh, Ninety-five percent of it's the same, but there are some differences that we've asked staff to include and, and bring back to us. So the line is basically the same. Um, the ordinances that we'd always talked about and wanted to be done are the same. I think the property that was taken out on the former one was taken out on the new one? Well, so we made sure that, that no, it, yes, we've made sure the staff knows to take that out and bring it back to us. Um, okay, but here's the next part. The rest of the MOU that talked about how um, Wasatch U Acres would remain an island and how um, development came to the county, that you would recommend they speak with the city if it's within those boundaries. There's one other issue that I think, well, those two things as well as one other issue, I feel that we still need to have it in an MOU with you. It's just that I'm going to write that up and propose it next week to the city council. I don't think any action will be taken, but would the county council be interested in an interlocal meeting to discuss anything else in that MOU? before it's finalized. We'd like to get I'd like to get it finalized by the end of August with you. Oh, I think we ought to see the end with you before it's right. finalized. Well can we have an interval I'd like to see us have an interval for the talk about can we have an interval to see it be able to review it before we have an interval meeting. Okay, that's fine. I'm, like I said, I'm going to draft some language for next week. View is an island. Right, so one such view, and then the development requests that come right. to you could come to us. And then the third thing that Ron Crittenden was concerned about is what happens to water development outside of the SSD boundaries that are within that annexation policy plan. In other words, the uh, Hutchinson annexation that we were looking at, that's that they have a small piece within the SSC boundaries, but the other part's out. Is that correct, Ron? Yes. Wait. Do you want 
will you please speak? We don't have our, our good Mr. Tappan here today, so if you can please get in the microphone, that would be great. My name is Ron Phillips, North Village SSD. Um, we have talked with the folks that have that property under contract. Um, they're in the process now of annexing to the city. We have told them that they probably would have to annex to the SSD as well. So they'd have to, the other piece that's, that's north or south of Coyote Lane would have to annex it to the North Valley SSD. Yes. To be able to get water. Yes. And sewer. Okay. What about the what about the properties and related to the city? You haven't talked. What about the rest of the properties between the the southern edge of Hutchinson's property and the Bassett Ritchie piece that's now in? Well, You're leaving about six chunks there. But excuse me, please. Um, I'm assuming that those are part of our master plan for well, all the they'd, they'd be in this new annexation. Um, well, in between Hutchinson and the Bassett farm. Right, that area has not come in to our city officially, but we have master planned it ourselves. Well, and it'd be in this new annexation boundary that they adopted. The new annexation boundary is what's north of Coyote Lane, and that VXC annexation that the Hutchison property includes wants to go over north of Coyote Lane, but that's not in our current annexation policy plan. So, obviously, there's some details there we need to work out, but you're asking if that would go into JSSD when we think that everything south of Coyote Lane, we've already master planned for our water and our sewer. So given that. Well then, are you gonna force then uh, property owners between Coyote Lane and Bassett property to annex into the city? No, we're not forcing anyone to annex right now. Well then you'll be an island. It's still contiguous across Highway 40 to the North Field, so. Okay. You'd reach there be so a, be a peninsula, a peninsula. Not an island. Okay. but you're saying you're saying the city is intent on reaching out and picking up the Hutchinson south of Coyote Lane. No, Land. they've already petitioned. They've already petitioned under an AXC annexation. There, so it's straddling Coyote Lane. Yeah, but they're asking, the, they're asking the SSD to provide sewer and water. I was not aware of that. Are have they wrong? That's what he was talking about. They need to annex into the SSD to get sewer water to our entire base. That hasn't been presented to us. Yeah, um, our plan has always been to, to provide sewer for that for the Hutchinson property. So for all of it, or just the piece north of Cali Lake? No, for the piece south. Yeah. All of it. I know we talked about this in North Valley class. Well, and I think part of the MOU was that the services clear to where they exist, which is the Kubota, was to be done by the North Village yeah. SSD. Well, we, that's why we talked about water there. and sewer. We were yeah. opposed to that because it only comes I might be incorrect, and I didn't realize that JSSD boundaries went that far south. But I'm sure well, our city the North Village. North Village. It's North Village. North Village does, but I'm sure our city engineer knows that, and maybe that's why it has been yeah. Okay. Thank you. As a the developer, the potential developer for the Hutchinson property and the potential developer of the property just south of that have both talked to us and what they say is that it's um, more cost effective for them to hope to North Village than to hope to the city. So I haven't <laughs> done any had any discussions with the city over that. I just we answer their questions and okay you know and, and i know we go to the Kubota that's leadership with water with water not sewer i think this is another thing that ought to be in that interlocal yeah. a serious discussion of whether we're going to make them annex into in the north coast ssd or or if he is going to come out and pick them up and how far out they're coming well, i don't know that we make anybody do anything they well, petition to do certain things yeah. and we would we would have boundaries that we would define. We Correct. Were down to Kubota when it was adding that new building in the fire protection at the airport. I remember the discussion. So what we ought to probably do is see if there's a date that we can pick right. to have. Uh, you want to do this before the end of August? I know after yes. next week it's busy with fair days for sure, and, right. and that'll be busy the yeah. following week. Are you going to suggest that the council is going to hold off on this annexation the annexation plan until after the MOU? No, I'm not suggesting that, but because, oh, 
I would hope so too. And I will certainly do what I can to convince others of that. But in any case, we still need an MOU. Yeah, let's look at a, at, a, at a potential meeting for discussion. I hope we can get discussion. that done by the end of August. And I'm hopeful that we might be able to do something on the 14th, 21st, or 28th, if any of those days are convenient for you. So you can have your meetings and we can have ours. Actually, the 21st would not work. I'm sorry, that's the sewer board. The 14th when we typically have our countywide district uh, meetings that interlocal that start at three, correct? I hope well, we have all of the SSDs that start at three. But we could. That's when we have our when we do an interlocal. That's when it's been. Well, we might shoot for the 28th also. That's the fourth Tuesday. Uh, but in any case, I'll, I'll be sure to draft some language and send it to the city council and send it to all of you. And please feel free to add in any issues that you feel need to be addressed when you see the draft language. Maybe we can communicate through email, but definitely set up a meeting and try to find it. Would we be safe at 7 o'clock on that Tuesday yeah. the 14th? We could potentially have it here on, the, the, on the 14th at 7 here. here. Yeah, we would all be here anyway for our, for our district meetings, and so that if you're suggesting the 14th, that would be good probably for county attendance. And so uh, if I were what back. time, please? 7 p.m. Okay. We'll just let me let's let's see how it works out. Be done on the next. So you'll you'll have a long meeting with. We'll be here for other district meetings from three till we're done. Okay. We just have to be done at seven. We're trying to be done by seven. Let me send out that email to all of you and as well as the city council and such, and we'll see if we can proceed on that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have a question and a comment as well. I know the city worked very hard on this, and, you know, including about 80% of what we do as a county. We, we appreciate that. Tony's put a lot of effort into it, so we appreciate your efforts. Just curious about the affordable housing. Did, did you receive a copy of that ombudsman letter? No. I've heard about it, but haven't received it. But we understood from Mom Crittenden that you were going to appeal that, given that information was not considered by the ombudsman. Is that correct? I'm not sure about that. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure about that. We don't appeal those. It's just his opinion. It's just his opinion. Yeah. <coughs> so the appeal would be. It's not a binding. So. Well, was so. he not considering the next study or other information? I don't think that. I don't think he had that information, but I'm not sure. So. Yeah, because please, if you want Doug or uh, Mr. Sweat or um, Mr. Davis to let us know what's going on with that. Well, it's certainly That's a big portion of the thing. That that could be a huge piece of the the issue. So. Well, there you go, and we have to proceed as carefully yeah. and quickly as we can. Okay. And then one other, one other thing I want to most mind why we have you here, okay. as far as the we had a committee set up. For the affordable housing, where are we at on that with city and we we know that we know at least one of the midway representatives, so we know who the people are. I just got to get with everybody and schedule a meeting. Okay. I figured I'd probably wait till after fair. And I was going to talk about potential dates for the three of us tonight, but probably figured after fair weeks over, we look at some. We're very anxious to for you to proceed on this. Did you officially change your meetings to, to Tuesday? Yes, but it won't start till September. Okay. So the first, it's going to be on Tuesdays now, first and third Tuesdays, 6 o'clock, um, starting that first week. Very good. Okay. okay. Thank you very much.